Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here, and if you look behind me, you can tell that the lower pod has an algae issue. And uh, so something needs to be done. I partnered with a company called High Below, and what they do is they make diaphragm air pumps for septic systems. I saw on some YouTube videos uh, that it's a great efficient way of adding oxygen into the water via diffusers. So I contacted them and they sent me over a unit. I have some prep that I need to do in order to do the install properly. High Blow has been using technology that's been around since the 70s. It kind of works like a speaker um, with the speaker vibrating in order to create air. So they told me that the reason why they're so efficient is they're just pumping air. They don't actually have to move the water like big fountains. We actually have a broken uh, one that used to spray water and the cord ended up shorting out and that no longer works. But if you think about it, all of that energy needed in order to push water up into the air takes a lot more energy than just taking air and pumping bubbles into the water. Now they have specially designed diffusers that will help make really small air bubbles so it's more likely to get into the water instead of just bubbling up to the surface. Uh, so the idea behind using a diffuser in a small pond is that the extra amount of oxygen in the water will help promote the natural wildlife for the fish, their environment, it will also help eat up that extra algae. And a lot of times during the summer, the heat's coming down, uh, that makes the algae grow uh, quite a bit. So the plan with this project is to put a 50 foot, uh, basically from this post, it will go out into the pond and then it will split. There'll be 100 feet that way and a 50 footer this way. Now the trick is, both of the diffusers need to be at the same level. Uh, so that will be the tricky part because you don't want one to be up higher than the other, otherwise all the air will go up to this one. So you wanna find a spot that is uh, equal depth and they said that they're good for about six and a half feet deep. Um, and what we'll do is we'll create a diffuser using a five gallon bucket and then pouring some concrete in the bottom uh, to anchor it. Uh, and then we'll tie a rope to the top of it and then put a little decoy. Uh, I think we have a mallard duck and a swan decoy in order to be able to service a diffuser in the case uh, something goes wrong and we're needing to be able to find it. All you'd have to do is take the boat out there, grab the rope, pull it into the boat, and then service it. The other nice thing about high blow aerator pumps is that they sell rebuild kits. So they recommend that these can be rebuilt twice before you need to buy a completely new unit, which should last well over 10 years. And they're, they're very durable. I mean, they, they look like they're something, uh, something out of like the 60s or 70s, but that's because it's using sound technology from the 60s and 70s that has just worked. And this uses little enough energy that I plan down the road to make a video showing uh, it running off a solar panel because um, our electricity is pretty expensive out here but if I could get this off onto some solar panels then uh, it will basically be free in sense. So uh, definitely recommend check out the links in the description and uh, for more information about this high blow uh, aerator pump let me show you what I what I got and uh, we'll get to it I've been doing some testing just having it hooked up but um, this is where I need to clear out the grass and put down some pavers in order to give a firm foundation for it and I'm gonna use some uh, plastic bags that I have from our softener salt in order to keep the grass from growing up so let me go get that stuff and I'll be back Okay, so I have my salt bags there. 
I also brought uh, some digging tools and then those patio blocks. So I'm gonna clear this out. I'm also gonna try to get the old cord that was kind of buried out of here too. So that way I don't have to worry about accidentally cutting some uh, wire. And if I can, I'd like to bring the hose right up there. That way I can uh, bring them together. I'm just trying to level the ground out a little bit there. My guess is that this motor still works. It's just the cord has gone bad. I must have all of the old unit out. Okay, now I'm gonna dig down. Okay, so what I'll do is pull this back a little bit. Try to dig this out by hand. I way the air hose will come up here. Okay.
There we go. That's good enough. Now I'll get the bag positioned. That should be good. And eventually I might add two more blocks there just so I have a clear zone around this. So my weed whacker doesn't damage aerator pump. Okay, so I got that there. Let me try to twist this into the downward position. Let me get some pliers. So I'm gonna use some channel locks to help rotate this. Downward position. I'll put that collar there. Now I'll go get some bricks to sit on here to raise this up. I have four bricks here that I'll go ahead and actually I might have to get up like that. go. I just need to put that on there and tighten down the screw. Okay. Let me see about taking this off. Trying to attach it to the other thing first. clamp down. Okay. Now try to slide this on there. Okay, it looks like I need uh, like two more, and then it'll be in good position. There we go. There we go. Now we just need to boil up this cord here. And plug it in. And this is a very, very quiet, quiet pump. So this is the end that's blowing the air out. 
I'll put that on there. Ah. And I'll go ahead and get these clamped on so that they'll be good and I'll just throw it back in the water. And then I'll install the diffusers on another day. There we go, so that's fastened. And I'll just pull that out in the water. So the tube's in the water, and then there's only one side that the air is coming out of right now because it's in a higher position of elevation in relationship to the other it so when I end up installing the diffusers I'll just have to position them until both of them and I would assume that uh, with the diffusers it will help maintain the pressure because there's a whole bunch of small holes that is coming out of that we won't have to get exactly the same depth um, but I'll just be able to experiment with where their location can be but this is what it is for right now, and in the next video, I'll show you how I make the diffuser. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out for the next videos in this series. Uh, the next one will be building the diffuser with a five gallon bucket, a do it yourself uh, setup. Make sure to check out the information in the description about today's sponsor, High Blow, which makes incredible aeration pumps that work great for the pond. Until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.